Okay, so we are continuing with our tutorial sessions on uh, assignment number three. So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to make sure that you get access to all our videos the moment that we uh, upload them. Okay, so without wasting any more of your time, let us continue with question number 18. Okay, the question reads as follows. Okay. Rents Limited, a clothing uh, firm, determines that the revenue in rents of selling X dresses is given by the function R equals to X uh, brackets 450 minus uh, 0, 0.05 X uh, close brackets. Okay. Uh, it also determines that the total cost in rents of producing X dresses is given by the function C. Okay. Then the marginal profit when the X dresses are produced and sold is given by the function. Okay, so here what we have is that we are given functions for, for the revenue and what and the total cost, right? So we have to determine what the marginal profit. Okay. Let us let us let us let us uh go straight into solving this problem, right? Okay, I'm gonna move this aside. And then we move this. Okay. So these are the functions that we are given. This is the function, the the the, the first one. Oh, so the first one, this is the function for the revenue. And this is the function for your total cost. Remember, uh, to determine the profit, you need, the profit is given by P is equals to uh, revenue uh, minus your cost total cost total cost so here we are given these two so we can determine the profit but remember we don't just want the profit we want what the marginal profit so to determine marginal profit you differentiate what you differentiate your profit so let's first determine the function for your profit so we're gonna write uh, the profit as a function of x we're using as a function of x because the revenue and the cost are given in x right so okay let me remove this okay okay so uh this is equals to uh our revenue what where is the function for revenue this is the function for revenue so the revenue is x uh, mult, uh 450 minus uh, 0 comma 0 or five zero x okay even if we had ignored this zero it doesn't really add any value and it's kind of annoying okay so this is the function for revenue then subtract like this is this is important when you when you subtract make sure that you put everything in square brackets or like yeah so that you, you when you multiply by the negative sign you don't make mistakes right so you're gonna have like this is gonna be your forty thousand uh, forty thousand uh, plus uh, zero comma zero two five x square okay and then another square brackets so let us remove the brackets you could have used like your round brackets or whatever it doesn't really make a difference the square brackets are mostly useful when you have brackets on this other side in this case we don't but i would advise you to most likely or most often use square brackets when you have something like this okay so what we gonna do now is we're gonna multiply out let's we're gonna simplify everything so uh to remove the brackets here we're gonna multiply by this x here then you're gonna say x multiply by 450 then you got you get what 450x okay 450x okay then you say x multiply by uh, minus 0.05x when you multiply x and x it becomes x squared right so this is constant nothing really changes so you're gonna have minus okay uh, 0, 0.050 annoying zero multiply by x square okay this sign you keep the sign because this is positive and negative positive multiply by negative you get negative then you're gonna say minus this is like this minus one here minus one multiply by this one you get minus 
this is 40 40,000 okay then this multiply by this you get uh, minus minus one multiply by this one the sign will change you're gonna have 0 comma 0 two five x square okay so this sign is only changing because we're multiplying by the negative negative multiply by positive you get negative okay so let's continue to simplify this here what's important is to recognize which terms are like terms so like terms are terms that have like um, the same variables and the similar and similar powers so here the variable is x square and here the variable is x squared as you can see this is a constant there's no other constant there's no other term that has like x and no power no power okay with uh, uh, power one so we can see we you we have to group the like terms and then uh, simplify them so we're gonna have like this is like 450 x from here um, minus so let's uh, deal with these two. So minus and minus, you simply add these two and then get the same, you have the same uh, sign. Therefore, minus 0 0.050 x square or minus 0 0.05, okay, uh, 0 0.025 x square is the same as, let me show you why I say that, is the same as uh, moving the minus side outside and having. 0 0.05 okay uh, x plus 0 0.0 okay 25 right okay let's forget about the x this is this is x okay x and then is it x square oh yeah x square and then this is 0 0.025 x square okay so you see you have uh, pl the plus sign here okay the plus sign okay okay so yeah let me write it in a manner that you can really see everything so you have minus uh, 0 uh, point zero five zero x square plus 0 point zero two five x square okay and then these two you simply add them okay this is like me factorizing out the uh, factoring out the negative sign so you have 0 comma 0 uh, 7 5 x square okay then you have this term so this term comes from 1 2 and then we continue we have this one this is 40 okay thousand okay so this is the this is the one uh, this is your this is the function for what for the profit but we don't want the profit uh, we want the marginal profit so what is the marginal profit so your marginal profit mm, okay marginal marginal profit uh, okay the marginal profit is equal so to your your it's your it, the derivative of the profit if you are given a linear uh, a nonlinear function like this one so you have to di differentiate your p so okay you differentiate your p okay okay so let's differentiate this one this is p the derivative of uh, 450 how do we differentiate yo the, the chickens outside are making a lot of nice <laughs> So how do we differentiate 450? So we're gonna differentiate the first term. So this is 450. To differentiate this, you take the the exponent of x. This is the variable that we have here. You take the exponent of x. In this case, it's one. Then you're gonna say one multiplied by 450. Then that becomes what? 450. 450. Then you subtract one from the exponent of what? Of x so one minus one this becomes zero this becomes zero any number to the power zero is one so this will be one okay so we don't have to write one here so it's going to be 451 so okay that's the first term of this uh and okay this the marginal profit this is the marginal profit function equals to this 450 becomes okay 450 Four, that 450x becomes 450 
and then we also have to we also have to differentiate this one okay we also have to differentiate this one okay to differentiate this uh, what we have to do is the same thing you're gonna take this multiply it by this okay so you're gonna have minus uh, 0 0.075 uh, x square okay to differentiate this you take this number here multiply it by the coefficient u of x the coefficient of x is minus 0 0.075 if we multiply that by 2 it becomes uh, uh, minus 0. Point okay one five x zero okay then we you subtract one from the exponent then you get what one then we have x to the power one x to the power one is simply x then we write this here so the second term of this uh, marginal profit function is minus zero comma one five zero x okay so the third term that we need to differentiate is the minus 40,000. Okay, the, the derivative of a constant is zero, so this one falls away. So the function for uh, the marginal profit, uh, marginal profit is given by this function. So you are done with question number 18. Okay, please access the video for question number 17.